Hi teachers, today's video is about my classroom pen pal project. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Melanie Howell and I have been a classroom teacher for more than 20 years. If you find this video helpful, I hope you will consider subscribing. All right, so my pen pal project. I'm so excited to tell you all about it. Through Facebook, I found a teacher who was looking for a pen pal class and we were a fantastic match. She is located on Staten Island and I'm located on St. Simons Island, which is off the coast of Georgia. That means we're in the same time zone and that makes Skype a real possibility. Also, um, and if you've ever done a pen pal project, you realize that the magic was she had the same number of kids in her class that I have in my class. And we all know that makes the project much easier. So there were a lot of valuable learning experiences for all the kids involved. This was just great. And then last Friday, we did our introductory Skype, which went over, it was huge. They, I mean, the kids just, they just loved it. Um, but building up to the Skype call, uh, the teacher and I spoke, we decided to have the kids brainstorm and put together what would we want to send the other class in an introductory care package. If we wanted to send a care package to the other class that sort of introduced our community, what could we send? So of course we had sand from our beach and um, different brochures from different historical sites and a Christmas ornament made out of tabby because the original settlers built a fort out of tabby because that was a natural resource, blah, blah, blah. I mean, we got into all kinds of aspects about our own community. And then um, each child researched one different area of our community and we made our own stationery. Um, by taking a picture of that place and cutting it out and just doing the old-fashioned tape it on the notebook paper and then run it through the copier nothing fancy but um, it did sort of include a visual like the fort so that the child that received the letter could see a picture of the fort on the on the letter but then I think one of the most valuable learning experiences came from writing the friendly letter so how to organize that letter of course dear pen pal the greeting and then we decided to organize it in a way that we would sort of a sentence to introduce ourselves and then we would introduce our community and put the part in about what we've researched and then we decided we needed something about while i'm at school i like to and sort of introduce themselves that way and then we did a section while I'm away from school, here are some things I like to do, and then we asked a few questions and then we closed our letter. But an entire lesson was just done on the transition words needed to go from each paragraph to paragraph. So again, a very valuable learning experience for everybody involved, and then magic happened. When we were doing our Skype last Friday, <laughs> my son's sneaking into the video, but that's okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, everybody, this is my son, Will. <laughs> okay, so while we were doing the Skype video on Friday, in comes the administrative assistant from the front office carrying the package from Staten Island. It arrived during the Skype. Oh, the kids went crazy. We got to open it. The class in Staten Island got to watch us open it. It had I Love New York magnets and a taxi cab keychain and all kinds of stuff. And of course, all of the letters from the kids in Staten Island. And during the Skype, uh, the teacher and I sort of started the conversation talking about our communities. And then we let each child um, have a moment to introduce themselves and say something that they liked. And of course, um, you know, when somebody in Staten Island cheered that they liked Fortnite, our kids cheered back because let's face it, they're all 10 year olds. And then we learned interesting things about, um, sort of standout things about each other's community. The group in New York said they wish they had a Chick-fil-A and they were surprised to find out that we have a building ordinance where we live that you cannot build anything taller than the tree line. So in some areas we have four stories, usually not even that tall. They were fascinated to find out that our our island has two grocery stores, 
one post office, um, a handful of schools. I mean, it was just, it was, gr I think, a good learning experience for them, but it was also a great learning experience for our class. And um, now that we've had our introduction, we decided next time um, we were gonna look up things like population of our area. It's just a great vehicle to learn more about your, <laughs> to learn more about your own community as well as the community of someone else. And I'm just really excited about the whole thing. And I'll make more videos to let you know how the project goes. Okay, have a great day, bye.